During this video, we'll discuss how to make an art piece for the 2021 Scholastic Art Awards. Each year, many of our students win Scholastic Art Awards, and we also ran the Regional Scholastic Art Award judging from Ashcan Studio for many years, where we got to see firsthand student submissions and how the judges chose winners for each category. The art submission categories are architecture and industrial design, ceramics and glass, comic art, design, digital art, drawing and illustration, editorial cartoon, expanded projects, fashion, film and animation, jewelry, mixed media, painting, photography, printmaking, sculpture, and art portfolio for graduating seniors only. The people who judge the Scholastic Art and Writing Awards are looking for three things when they view your work. Originality, technical skill, and the emergence of personal voice or vision. We've helped students win hundreds of Scholastic Art Awards since 2006 with these core values in mind. So what do these values mean and how can you apply them to your artwork? When they say that they look for a personal voice or vision and originality, they mean that they're looking to award work that is personal that the subjects you depict are something that you are invested and truly interested in. If you're having trouble thinking about what that subject could be for you, start to think about what makes you curious. Is it relationships, fashion, poetry, a current event, fairy tales, an object? If this seems daunting to think about what you'd like to base your work on, when we start with new students, we have a few ways that we approach this. First, it's important to be genuine and to feel comfortable expressing your true interest in self. Also, as artists, it's difficult to not be hard on yourself. Ease up on your expectations of yourself because all this will do is weigh you down with worry. Instead, focus on taking small steps. One of the first things we ask our students to do is create an opposites list where you list your likes and dislikes. In two separate columns, write down your favorite and least favorite things people, locations, foods, books, films, etc. And then write down a memory, pick a scene from a film and describe it, list your fears or a phobia, and describe something or someone that's beautiful. Don't overthink these questions and don't be afraid to be funny or dramatic. Write down the first things that come to your mind, but use detail. Starting with one idea and making a mind map is another way. We think in multidimensional ways with a lot of ideas occurring simultaneously that trigger further ideas. Record your ideas graphically using a visual diagram such as a mind map can be helpful. A mind map is a diagram that has a branch-like structure radiating from a central image on the page. Now that you have this information, look everything over and something will jump out to you as more interesting than others. In any case, choose one to start with. The next step is research. Look up on Google, Pinterest, or Instagram and find books about the subject or word you've chosen. You have to find out more about your subject. Finding out more about things that interest you gives them purpose, and everything you do should be done with purpose. Take notes on what you've found and make sketches of ideas, write down possible materials, and make screenshots of inspiring images and text you found and put it together in a Word document or print for your sketchbook. When you're ready to move on to developing a single idea for your scholastic piece, make at least three sketches on the same idea and decide what is best conceptually and compositionally, ideally with feedback from a teacher or mentor, and decide on the medium or materials you will use. Think of less obvious mediums and make it personal by working with mediums that you like using and have liked seeing other artists use in their work. If you follow these guidelines, you'll naturally find yourself making work that is in line with Scholastic Art Awards core values and hopefully lead you to make a work that will win you a Scholastic Art Award. Ashcan Art offers art portfolio preparation classes year-round. Contact us at infomanhattan at ashcanart.com and see the classes we offer at www.ashcanart.com. You can see us on Instagram at ashcanart and please subscribe below for more art portfolio tips.